Brown breaks loose for a spectacular game. I'll tell you, when I first saw him and really wanted to get him, if I could, I watched Syracuse play in a postseason game, and he just carried that football team. When you look at the 1957 NFL Draft, it was simply hard to go wrong that year. When you look back on it, there were four future Hall of Famers and 11 of the 13 first round picks would make at least one Pro Bowl during their career. But the Browns with pick number six, they got it the most right with the selection of Jim Brown, a three sport athlete at Syracuse who really hit the ground running the moment he got into the NFL. Uh, Paul Brown really wanted a quarterback. He needed to replace uh, uh, Otto Graham. He had coaxed him once before out of retirement in 1955, but Otto Graham finally retired in 56. There were stories that Paul Brown was very into Len Dawson, um, who went one pick higher to the Steelers at number five, so that could have altered the history of the Browns entirely. You often went with, you're trying to get your, your hometown uh, guys to sell tickets by the Rams. You know, John Arnett was a pretty good player. Uh, John Brody played, you know, 15, 20 years in the NFL, but they weren't, they were not Jim Brown. My first exhibition game, uh, he started me, and I broke one up the middle and scored, and he called me off the field. He said, you're my running back. So that's all I want. <laughs> Simply put, he is the greatest of all time as a running back, as a player, all of it. Finishes his career with 12,312 rushing yards, 126 total touchdowns, and he averaged 104.3 rushing yards per game. It's all, um, you know, what he was from the very beginning. He was the only running back in the history of the league to average 100 yards a game, and uh, he was a force from the very start.